What's up guys, welcome back to So Many Parks So Little Time, or as I like to call it, Silly Muppets Helmet. So today we are at Glenwood Caverns Adventure Park in Glenwood Springs, Colorado. Now this is an extremely unique theme park in that it is located at the very top of a mountain. They have four of the highest elevation roller coasters in the country. Not to mention all the amazing views that you get from here, and that's really the selling point of this park and all of its rides. On a flat level surface, these rides are actually nothing that special, but situated where they are. They are absolutely awesome and take full advantage of its very unique mountaintop location. Now I did cover this park before in a vlogging Wyoming, but I decided to bring it into so many parks because last year they opened up Defiance, a Gerslauer Eurofighter, and the highest elevation looping roller coaster in the United States. And while it may not have the most impressive layout, man just I cannot wait to ride this ride because the view that you're gonna get from over 7,000 feet up, it's gonna be amazing. So yeah, apart from the rides there's also uh, two cave tours. They're not as big as uh, Marvel Cave at Silver Dollar City, but they're still really darn cool. But yeah, every time I come here, I have a really fun time. So let's go check out Glenwood Caverns Adventure Park. Hi guys, Future Vince here. So as you can see, the weather sucks. I actually had to cut this day short because of the bad weather, closed rides, all that stuff. But rather than completely cancel this episode, I decided to intertwine some footage from an unreleased episode of So Many Parks that I'm going to be using instead to uh, sort of fill in the gaps. Luckily, I was able to film all of the new stuff. That being said, enjoy the show. Thank you.
Pros and cons of Defiance. Pro, this is an absolutely great fit for the park. They finally got a high thrill roller coaster. This is basically what put them on the map for roller coaster enthusiasts. Pro, the view, the main selling point of this ride is absolutely spectacular. Definitely one of the best views from the top of the lift hill on any roller coaster. Pro, the drop is fantastic. It is uh, some sort of weird record that they claimed. I think it's like the uh, steepest non-brake drop in the western half of the US, something like that. I honestly couldn't care less about the record. That drop is spectacular. Gone? This ride is kind of rough. Yeah, for being a brand new roller coaster, it is shockingly shaky. And yeah, the you do get a bit of head bashing on the ride and the restraints are very hard as well. So not the most comfortable ride. Con, it is a short coaster. There's no denying that. But as such, it's still a really, really good roller coaster. Great fit for this part. I still think Sidewinder is the best roller coaster in Colorado though. down is coming up. Whoa! 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 Woo! Alright. And now it's just a nice relaxing ride back to the top. Oh, that is a very bright sun though.
So, figures I forgot to record a review of Alpine Coaster. This thing is simply fantastic. It is my favorite Alpine Coaster that I've ridden to date, and I am stalwart on my opinion that it is the best Alpine Coaster in the US. The laterals are great, the airtime is plentiful, there is a little bit of auto braking, but nothing too too bad, and then of course the view from this thing is just fantastic. This is absolutely a highlight of Glenwood Caverns, just be sure you get on this one early because it can develop a line. better with the crystals here now.
Okay, so before I get my thoughts on Crystal Tower, I have to be very real for a second. Two years ago, this ride was involved in a horrific accident, and after that accident, I was furious with the park. It's the kind of accident that is anyone's worst nightmare, and unfortunately, it's also the kind of accident that just never should have happened in the first place. So when the park announced that the ride was coming back, I had very, very high expectations for how they handle the reopening of this ride. And this morning, I got several rides on the ride, and while I did, I was actually talking with the manager. I'm actually very impressed with all of the brand new safety measures that they have for this ride. They really, really took the overhaul to heart and made sure that that accident that tragedy never happens ever again. So with that out of the way, let's talk about the ride. The way the ride drops from the loading position is just so unique. And then it is a powerful, powerful drop. You feel it in your gut and you float the whole way down. It's an incredible sensation. And then the new theming elements are all very, very cool. They're very nice. I do like this theme quite a bit. And especially the Ascension, it's a lot more interesting than it was previously. So overall, while I will kind of miss Haunted Mind Drop, Crystal Tower is very, very good. It's Tom. Yeah. Look at this thing. Whoa. This one's oh, right. more of a drop. Oh, yeah. Woo! Woo! There we go. Whoa! Woo! Whoa! Woo! We about to hit that bird. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna go You got that right down there. So that 
is the canyon swing. goes 55 miles an hour and it has three and a half feet. Straight above it? Right after it. Oh, I But we have to have that back there. So you guys definitely got the best end of that view. So, Giant Canyon Swing, you probably know that ride from YouTube thumbnails. This thing is just a marvel to look at and riding it is just as insane. That look over the canyon, I mean, whoever thought it was a great idea to place an SNS Scream and Swing on the side of a cliff, that is a fantastic idea. Despite all the rides here, Giant Canyon Swing is probably the signature ride here because it's the one that uh, Glenwood Caverns is known for. But one thing's for sure, this ride will continue to be on YouTube thumbnails because it is that scary. <laughs> business is audio visual he really wants to see
So Cliffhanger is the highest elevation full-size roller coaster in the United States. And yeah, this is a really, really fun ride. On flat ground, this ride is honestly nothing all that special, but the placement of this ride on the top of a mountain, looking out over the canyon, that view from the top of the lift hill is just insane. And really, this was uh, part of the reason why Glenwood Caverns is kind of the way it is right now. They just have such a knack for finding these rides. This ride was sitting and rotting at Celebration City before Glenwood Caverns came along and put the roller coaster here. So yeah, very awesome ride and should definitely be on your bucket list. Yeah, it's just a windstorm, but it is a very special windstorm. Yeah, as you uh, walk to your seat, notice how there is no uh, fencing around here, so it's up to you to not fall off the edge of this cliff. Dude, the uh, canyon flyer is absolutely insane. The ride looks like a kitty ride, but do not be fooled by that very innocent looking facade. It is so evil. And it really goes to show just how the location of these rides is absolutely everything at Glenwood Caverns. You can have any mundane ride in the world here, and then it is made extra special just because of its location.
directions because the wind is coming up from all different directions. It's mixing in that same room. Adventure Park in Glenwood Springs, Colorado. And while this park may not have the most rides or even the most thrills, it is very much an underrated park. The experience that this park offers, you cannot get at any other park in the country. Just the way the view at the top of the mountain really, really services the rides, the atmosphere, everything. It's a truly unique place for sure. As the park has gotten more popular though, they have jacked up their prices quite a bit, so it's uh, definitely a bit of a more expensive day out now. But once you get to the top of the mountain, there's no shortage of of things to do. As fun as Defiance was, Crystal Tower was absolutely my favorite ride. During the rain, while all the other rides were closed, I just kept on lapping that tower over and over again. With all the new thrill ride offerings, there really is now something for everybody at Glenwood Caverns. And then of course there are the cave tours, which are just super unique. Sure, it's not as grand as Marvel Cave, but hey, there's two of them here. Well, anyway, that's going to do it for Glenwood Caverns Adventure Park. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. We'll see which park we're at. Take care.